take away those chillin' yeah. and take away them green yeah. because mama's little baby loves pork. Hi. Hi everybody. My name is Mike Harrell. And I, uh, you know, you know me from the Pork and Beans show, uh, Mr. Beans. And uh, one of the things, one of the things that's different about me is I don't go in the woods looking for Sasquatch. I have my eye. I know Sasquatch are, you know, they taught me about the all one. That means they're with us all the time. If you're friends with them, if they know you, if you're interacting with them, or you're seeking them. They're with you all the time. There's never a time when they're not connected. So, I don't go in the woods, but they come to my house from time to time. And, um, you know, leave me little signs, little interesting little things. And uh, so th this is where I come out here. I... Uh, you know, sit on that little bucket underneath this tree, you know, and uh, just hang out, smoke my cigarette. But I just wanted to show you about tree fall, you know, trees shed things all the time. This, uh, this little branch right here goes all the way down to here. And it's hanging there. It's real interesting that it's doing that. And if you look right here, see where well, this one just crosses here, you can see that that this is another another little tree limb that fell down and got stuck on this, you know, got stuck on this little plant here. And here's another one. I don't know see if you can. It's going to be really hard to see, but I'll, I'll do it from a couple different angles. Right here is one, and it goes. You can see it a little better over here. And obviously, it fell down from up there someplace. And um, this is what it looks like when it falls on the ground. This happens all the time. Anytime there's rain or storm. But just thought I'd show you. This is this is the one I was showing you before. And here's another one. Kind of interesting. And here's another one. This one here. This little guy right here. And this is the first one I showed you with a little second one on there. Well, that's all good, you know. There's the moss falls down, trees break. But I thought I'd show you. And I you know those, you know, this could be a little Sasquatch playing, but. But, uh, you know, you never know. You have to feel it for yourself. And uh, I get a lot of st stick lists, you know. Like, um, this was some stick lists left over that got broken. It, that got broken. So I walk on them. But uh, I thought I'd show you something really interesting. That I really don't think is... It's all that natural. This is a, I'm just going across the street to my hat from my house. To this big uh, between these two, these two uh, big old pine trees. And about two or three months ago, I noticed this stick right here. This stick right there. I can't even reach it. That's like way above my. Uh, 
my hand there. It goes all the way out. It's a pretty big stick, you can see. I'll back up a little bit so you can see it. But if you look right here, this thing's been there for three months and there's not really any reason why that should be there because we've had plenty of rain and wind and stuff. But if you look right here, as you can see it, there's a little stick that goes from there up to there and it's actually locking, locking this big uh, pine tree branch in place and uh, you know it kind of defies your imagination as to how this little stick could get stuck in there and it's a pretty and it goes all the way up to there little broken off stick that holds that guy in place so you know take it as you will Could be, could be Sasquatch, or could be the wind. But in, in a way, that's what you have to do. You have to feel what it is. Like that big one looks definitely to me to be Sasquatch because it's, the branch is too big and <coughs> it got pinned in there with another broken little twig that holds it in place. Like I said, it's been there for about three months. These, uh, these trees are fantastic. There's a little, there's a little branch right there that's going to fall down soon. So, keep your eyes open around your house. You know? They want to they want to let you know they're here. They'll leave you little signs. Show you one more little thing. A couple more little things that just showed up one day. This right here. right here is a little bell it came off of I don't, know, I don't know what it came off of it's just a little bell and then this little guy just showed up a little toy it's been there for ever since I got here and a little rock Let's put there. So I'm not uh, I'm not seeing big footprints and you know sometimes I throw rocks on the house, but if they want to let you know that they're around and they're thinking about you. They will definitely. They will definitely let you know. Alright, love everybody. Uh, keep your hearts open and your eyes open. And uh, Sasquatch are really good people. I hope that they, 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 this trend of wanting to kill them and, you know, get a body and all that kind of stuff, that's, that's, just so, that's so low, you know. They're human beings, you know. We killed Indians just because we thought they were less than human. Now look how embarrassing that is. We uh, enslaved the African people because we thought they were less than human. And look how embarrassing that was. The uh, Sasquatch are not less than human. If anything, they're more than human. All right, I'll leave you with that. Keep your hearts open. That's how you can see Sasquatch.